Welcome back now to the most viewed stories on our website today. Veteran broadcaster Brendan Telfer is reported to be in an induced coma after falling ill on Sunday. John Rolls has pulled out of TV One's Dancing with the Stars because he's exhausted. And Daniel Vittori is denied claims that he pressured selectors to bring back pace bowler Chris Martin. That's very good to have him back now. Renee's along with a look at your St Paddy's Day weather. Yes, Gregor, generally fine St. Pat's Day, but there will be showers for the north of the country and the South Island will have a foggy start inland with low cloud in the east. The high that's been lying over New Zealand for the last few days is slowly moving away to the east and the low currently over Tasmania should move across the Tasman Sea tomorrow. A front should reach Fiordland in the very early hours of Wednesday. Morning fog patches in Invercargill and Alexandra then fine. Fine in Queenstown with a northerly breeze, morning clouds then a golden afternoon for the rest of the Lower South. A fine day for the top of the South, however cloud increasing in the West after midday, nor east winds in Kaikoura, morning cloud for Christchurch, then fine. A mainly fine Tuesday for the Lower North, Masterton will have morning cloud and a top of 24, a mix of fine and cloudy periods for Palmerston North. Cloudy spells for the west with showers after midday, nor easterlies for New Plymouth. Gisborne is often cloudy with a few showers. Cloud increasing with uh, showers developing in Taupo and Tokoroa. Cloudy periods for the rest with occasional showers and nor easterlies. Often cloudy with showers for the northern group, a high of 23 degrees for everyone here. Let's take a look at the extendeds now and Dunedin should cool slightly and expect a few showers four out of the five days. Christchurch's temperatures should slide as well and showers are on the radar for Friday and Saturday. Wellington's temperatures drop to the mid-teens with cloudy periods and showers for most of the outlook. Much the same for Hawke's Bay but slightly warmer temperatures. Sunday will be cloudy but fine. A fine Friday for Tauranga, then showers creep in over the weekend. And a wet outlook for Hamilton and temperatures sit in the 20s. And showers ahead for Auckland, but Sunday will be fine with a top of 21. And that's all from me. I'll see you tomorrow. We will see you then. Thank you for that, Renee. Finally tonight, a syndicate of Hamilton rugby players has scooped more than a half a million dollars in lotto. And they were so excited, they drove 500 kilometres to pick up their winnings. Aaron Soma caught up with some of the lucky syndicates. It's been a long journey, 16 years in fact. And for Colin, John, Smitty, Wazy, Johnny Johnson and Bill, winning the lotto has become reality. Yeah, we we still give each another a punch on the way home now. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's hard to sink in. And They're from the Melbourne Rugby Club, and this is how it happened. And the bonus ball could really make a difference to your win tonight. Tonight it is number 20. The syndicates had the same numbers for 16 years. Congratulations, if you've just become a first division winner, how great does that feel? Even their local shopkeeper was elated. He says you've won $509,105. They split that six ways and get around 85000 each. Sure enough, we'll be putting a shout on down at our Melville Rugby Football Club. One of the luckiest was Bill. He only joined the syndicate two weeks ago. That was after another member from the club passed up the opportunity. No doubt right now, he's kicking himself. They left tiny Melbourne at 3 a.m. this morning to collect their cheque and were offered some advice. A good financial advisor is an absolute must because um, they can help you make sure that that prize money lasts as long as possible and they get the most out of it. We were looking at the big, the big Wednesday poster on the wall and we had her on that we'll be back Thursday morning. And maybe luck is written in the stars. Aaron Soma, One News. Good on them. That's our on tonight. Remember to join us for One News Bulletins during breakfast from 6 tomorrow morning. And you can stay up to date by logging onto our website at tvnz.co.nz. From the tonight team, thanks for watching. We'll see you tomorrow. Good night.